Welcome to part two of this three-part motorcycle video log on where to eat in Las Vegas when you don't want to eat at the Strip. It's a hassle. Parking, it's expensive, and there are so many great places to eat in Las Vegas. I consider it the new food capital of the United States. In part one, we started the very southern tip of South Rainbow Boulevard and I pointed out restaurants as we drove north to the 215 freeway. Today in part two, we're gonna head, picking up where we left off last time from the 215 freeway up to Tropicana. There's a little intrigue, little mystery. You wanna stick around to the end of the video because I dropped one of my microphones as I was riding. And where did it land? In the middle of a drought in this desert city of Las Vegas, probably the one puddle in the entire city of Las Vegas. Plop, my mic ended right up in the middle of that puddle. How was I able to find it? Does it work? Stick around and find out. I didn't know myself, I had to test it out myself. Stick around for part three because we're gonna turn around from Tropicana and head back the way we came. And I'm gonna show you some specific restaurants where I like to eat. And I'll point those out to you. That'll be in part three, so stick around. Thanks for watching. Caddy Corner to Arroyo Shopping Center, which has the Home Depot, the Walmart, the Best Buy, Planet Fatness, all those chain type places. There are a few restaurants in there that are not chains like Nevada Chicken and there's a Mexican Grill in there. But then it has Popeyes and all your chain stuff over here. It tells you everything that's in this plaza right across the street from Arroyo, which is on the right-hand side of the street if you're on South Rainbow headed north. You got Yogurt Land, Tosi Roll, Mong Felix Kitchen, which is Filipino, Farmer Boys Burgers, Clove, Indian Restaurant and Bar. But you've also got Zupa's, which has great soup and salad. Tosi Roll has excellent poke. I can't vouch for the sushi. I always get uh, poke when I go in there. And then uh, Farmer Boy's Burgers, which smells awesome. <laughs> I don't know if their burgers are good. They probably are. They smell charbroiled. Now let's head north, continuing north on Rainbow. I only want to go as far as Tropicana because that takes you to the heart of the Strip. Then we'll turn around and come the other way down Rainbow. All right, so this mall we're leaving is called Shops on Rainbow. When I say mall, I mean strip mall. A lot of cool places to eat in here, man. I haven't eaten at the Indian restaurant. Zupas, Tosi Roll. Those are two good places right next door to each other. If you fancy the burger, Farmer Boys has the char grill. How do I know that? Because I can smell it. Now we're headed up to the 215. If you look at a map, 215 is a good free way to know. I like it personally. I do not like the 15. 15 goes from Mexico to Canada. 215 snakes around east to west, west to east. Goes through Henderson. Okay, there's an egg works. I don't like that place, but uh, maybe it's your thing. They have a lot of food that is, uh, you know, pre-packaged and they heat it up. We also have uh, Noodle Man is over here. Einstein Brothers Bagels. Rocco's New York Pizza and Pasta. A bakery. A lot of places to eat there. Again, I'm uh, sorry I can't recommend the Egg Works. What they have at the Egg Works, for example, the hash browns. They come out of a package. I just put my visor up if the sound changed. By the way, I'm using a number 16 ND filter on my Osmo action camera. 
I'm using a number 16 ND filter. I may change it to a 32 when I get up the road. I haven't decided yet. I don't know how this is going to look. I know that I filmed the other day the same street, Rainbow, and I filmed it without an ND filter. And because of the desert sky, it turned out just all washed out with glare everywhere. No bueno. Entonces, uh, I figured it's best to cambiar me lenzo. <laughs> That's me gringo Spanish. Or as I like to say in Spanish, mi español es muy mal. There's a strip over there to the right. Again, we're just heading north on South Rainbow. I think Tropicana is the dividing line, is it? Between north and south? No, it might be further up there. I'll have to look that up. It's either Desert Inn or Flamingo or Tropicana. Now that I think about it, I don't think it is Tropicana. There's a couple places to eat over there. Dragon, Tiger, Noodle Company, Potbelly Sandwich, California Fish Grill. We're coming up on Sunset. Crab Corner to the left, Earl of Sandwich to the right, the Cracked Egg to the left, Roberto's Taco Shop to the left. Can't recommend Roberto's Taco Shop. Nothing special in there. Nothing to see here, people. Keep it moving. I just didn't uh, enjoy their food. Maybe I went at a bad time, but I never went again. Dunkin' Donuts on the left. Boy, those are all over the East Coast. I couldn't believe it. I drove my van all over the United States and on the East Coast, those Dunkin' Donuts were ubiquitous. Proper sandwich shop to the left, crossing Patrick, corner of Patrick and Rainbow. Tasty Freeze combined with a Wiener Schnitzel on the left. Or is it Wiener Schnitzel? When I was a kid, we used to get Wiener Schnitzel hot dogs for 25 cents. I'm not telling you how old I am. But sometimes they would have like a crazy Wednesday and they'd go, hot dogs, 10 cents, and we'd go get like 10 of them. You don't even want 10. They were kind of small. And they're not the Chicago dogs, you know, with a nice bite to them. They're kind of mushy, but, uh, you know, I have that uh, memory, childhood memory associated with them. So here we are at Russell, and if, if I were to make a right turn, if we were to go right here at the El Pollo Loco, which means the Pollo Loco in Spanish, for those of you who don't know. Actually, it's crazy chicken. If we were to make a right turn here on Russell, we would go to Allegiant Stadium. I don't see a lot of restaurants here in this particular area besides... El Pollo Loco. The other things you can see for yourself. So let's start the camera over at Russell. Oh, I just started a new file here at Russell because we were at a red light. Sometimes the camera cuts out and starts again. I'd rather do it myself. Again, we're using an Osmo Action, the original, not the Osmo Action 2. It's mounted to my RF-1200 showy helmet. And we are headed north on South Rainbow. Don't be confused, there's North Rainbow and South Rainbow. We happen to be at the southern end. Well, there is a Freddy's frozen custard and steak burger on the right. Royal Coffee roasting, Boba Hut, to the left. Good morning, kitchen and cocktail bar. <laughs> Only in Vegas. Good morning, have a cocktail. Happy walk to the left. Bunch of restaurants over there. Here's a hospital here. I think it's a pretty good one, Spring Valley Hospital. Now we're entering an area called Spring Valley, which is going to be another Moto Vlog for another day because wow if you're into Asian food 
Spring Valley is the place for you, buddy. And we're on Hacienda. Hacienda, you could make a right turn and it'll take you all to all the way to the 15 freeway, but you can't get on the 15 freeway. It'll go over it. But you can go to Valley View. You can go to Decatur. It's not pronounced Decatur. Contrary to popular belief, it's Decatur. I'm guessing it's named after the famous Admiral Decatur. I don't know. But as we come into Spring Valley, we're headed also towards Summerlin, which is further north. You're going to notice a lot of trees. You're basically entering California. Everything to me in this area looks like California. Just can't tell the difference. See the mountains straight up ahead, the trees right and left. All the water sucking grass. <laughs> Green grass all over the place. And here we are at Tropicana. So I'm going to find a way to go all the way in the other direction. If I can, we'll turn it around. Start anew. Uh oh. No. Oh, I thought I lost my camera there for a second. <laughs> no, nope, it was just my um, water flopping against my body. I thought maybe I dropped a camera but not the case we're good let's uh, see if I can uh, make a u-turn up here Boy, I can't be safe selfie stick poking into my neck on a motorcycle not advisable let's see what we got going here yeah. dangerous everywhere when you're on a motorcycle there are danger Danger Will Rogers. Oh, check this guy in a giant Harley. Is he going to be able to pull a U-turn in traffic? A tight U-turn? Can he do it? Are you kidding me? Of course. The only thing I'm worried about is dragging my nether parts of my motorcycle. got the skill to do it been riding motorcycles a few years I think I dropped my microphone but I know where to go back and look that's an $89 microphone so I'm not gonna get out of my motorcycle we're at the corner of Tropicana and South Rainbow I'm not even going to get off the bike. I'm going to go back and uh, look for my microphone. But uh, a couple places since we're here. Yummy Chinese restaurant. Is it yummy? Doubt it. Don't know. Can't say for sure. Next to it is a <laughs> Little Caesars. But next to that, you've got uh, an Ethiopian market called Mizan Market. That may be interesting. Might be worth having a look at. And then you got uh, Kariba Charlie's Bar and Grill. And other than that, Subway on the corner, that's really all you got here. So let's see if we can go back and find my microphone and then head back down south. If the sound is a little funky on this part, it's because I lost my microphone, people. <laughs> Cross your fingers, we're going to find it. And I was pulling into the gas station and I felt something hit my leg and it was my microphone and here is the fuzzy part of it came off the wind sock so where's the microphone itself you think it would have bounced and then the windsock came off, right? Is it possible that the windsock came off? And then the microphone, there it is, in the water. Wow. Will this thing survive the water? OMG. Just my luck. Vegas, right? 
the desert, not a drop of water in sight for miles. Not coming from the sky, nothing. So, wow, it's an adventure every time, right? You never know what's going to happen, do you? So now it's time for the big reveal. Does the microphone work? Clearly it does. Clearly it does not. I had to say both because I don't know which one it is. I'm finding out for the first time myself. 